Although Bitcoin didn't reach a new all-time high in the strongest fiat currency, the US dollar, by now we are still 53% away from that, Bitcoin did reach a new all-time high in Argentina as well as in Turkey right now. In Argentina, we are already 61% over the old all-time high back in 2021. In Turkey, it's only 8% over the all-time high, but it's a quite new all-time high since 2021. Bitcoin is up in the strongest fiat currency 82% year to date. This is way stronger than any other asset class. We have gold at around 12%. We have stocks at around 8%. And we all know that cash is definitely trash. And never forget, there is a Bitcoin halvening coming up. Let's compare all the Bitcoin price halvenings. The first one was back in 2012. The Bitcoin price, then only 11 years ago was 12 dollars so crazy to think about that at the second halvening in 2016 just seven years ago 648 dollars this is over a 50x in the halvening period then we went from 648 dollars in 2016 to 8572 in 2020 this is a 13x performance over the period of one halvening right now we are around 30,000 but with all all the positive things going on in the Bitcoin world, all the momentum that's beginning to build, I think we can hit a quite high price point in the April or March around that time when we have the next Bitcoin halvening. Although the Bitcoin price in fiat terms doesn't really matter long term because we know fiat is going to zero anyways. So why do we measure now Bitcoin in fiat? Why do we measure it in the Argentine peso, in the US dollar? in any other currency. There's one really good reason for that. Right now, everybody thinks in the US dollar. Everybody thinks in the euro, in the Swiss franc, in every local currency they are living in. When then you go out of the street and you ask someone, oh, how much money did you spend on that bag? They will not answer with Bitcoin. They will not answer with anything else than the local currency that they are thinking in. And in order to change that over a long period of time, we need to establish Bitcoin as the ultimate store of value, start using it as a medium of exchange, and then only we're getting slowly to the unit of account in the mainstream. This is a long, long development. We are not there right now. So in order to onboard all those normies, all those new people that never heard of Bitcoin and what it actually is, we need the price action in fear terms to get them in. It's number go up technology. That's the best marketing Bitcoin ever can have. It's the one language everybody understands. Oh, Bitcoin was at 600 euros. Now it's at 1000 euros, 2000 euros, 10,000 euros, 30,000 euros. So the fiat price, we all know it doesn't matter, but it brings in newcomers to Bitcoin. It's still the best marketing tool ever, but it's really important to don't be emotional about the Bitcoin price. If it goes down 80%, don't be sad. If it goes up 50x, don't be too happy about it. Don't be emotional about the Bitcoin price. One Bitcoin is still one Bitcoin, no matter if it's at 10 euros or at 10 million euros. It just doesn't matter. Bitcoin is freedom. So keep that in mind and always stack enough sets. Bye bye.